Okay, we're going to look at how to create lessons and add different time zones so that you and your uh, students can be on one page. So this is just a calendar that I created now and let me just delete. Let's say you want to delete, you can delete all events. That's to get rid of your event. And let's say that I want to add students to my calendar. So I'm going to add, let's say, three students. From 9 to 9.30, let's add Ted. Just say for time's sake, and then let's add Fred. Save, and then let's add Bed. Save. So just so you get familiar, once you have a name here, you can easily take it and move it from one place to the other if your student wants to change times. So you do not have to recopy. You can just drag them anywhere. You just click and drag to different dates, different times. Oops, I made them a fool. There, you can even make it longer. So you just hold it and pull it down. Let's say he decides he wants to do an hour lesson. Okay, and then you can again move and okay. Then you can move it, move it, and then here again. I want to move it to one. Oops, sorry, that's a new title. Okay, so I have my three students. Let me erase that. That was okay. Now, in order for me to find them quickly, once you have them here, it's just a matter of writing all of the names and the times. Then you're going to go back and you can do it at the same time and you're going to edit. What we're looking for now is location and location would be the meeting link. And let's borrow from my other calendar. I have my other calendar here and let's just take the meeting link, right click copy the link address. Oops, sorry. Right click. Copy link. Bring that over to my new calendar. And on location, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste the join link. The next thing I want is I want to add some information here. And that, that's what time you want to be notified. That's fine. In the description, I want to put the lesson. So I'm going to go into my lesson area. I want to grab, we're going to start from this week two face. I'm going to grab that link for there. And then I'm going to open the calendar again. And I'm going to put the link for my lesson here. Okay, so now I have my link. And I have this. Now I'm just going to go here and customize the time. Let's say he wants Mondays and Fridays. I'm done. And then here I want to make him green. And then anything you do, you hit save and automatically he goes on Mondays and Fridays. Now let's do Ted. Again, you will open your link, edit your link. And I'm going to take another zoom. This time I'll take it directly from zoom. To get it directly from zoom, you just click on it and you can then copy your invitation. But I don't need the invitation, I just need that link. Do, 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 do. Hold on one second, cancel that. I just copy this link here. What I do is I just drag, right click it, and save. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Control C. And then I go over to that calendar and I add in the add location. Control V. Nope, that's the presentation. So for some reason it didn't take so. Let's then do the other way. Going into my calendar, the ones that I've already added. 
let's take another class. Right click, copy link address. And you should be able to do that from Zoom. So let me just be able, let's try here. Copy. Copy. Meeting invitation. I don't want the entire meeting invitation. I just want that link and that's right there. That link is here. And then copy. I know it ends with a nine. And then we go back over to the calendar and paste. Okay. And then we're going to do another lesson. I'm going to go to uh, my library and let's give them lesson limbs. And then I will open here, copy. And then I will go back here, add that, right click, paste. So now I have my lesson link and I have my join link. And then for him, I'm going to change his color to be red. And I'm going to save because he only wants once a week. So, oh, before we save, make sure we say weekly on Tuesday. Save. And then you're gonna, you can do the same thing. So we're going to go in, edit. We're going to add our link. Take a link here, copy. Go to my calendar, go to location. Then I'm going to add a lesson. I'm going to go to the library. Let's put that here. I'm going to add that lesson just by right clicking and saving it. And I'm going to go back here in the description to have my lesson. And then again, I'm gonna put them on weekly on Monday. And let's change their color to dark purple. Save. Now we have them, and if you go to the next week, they'll be there. And let's say we wanna add another time zone. Oh, you can also view your calendar by day, if you like that, or you can view it by, and then you to get there, you would just click See here, you would just click that immediately. I prefer a week. Now we just set over into the settings. You can add another time zone. Right now we have the primary time zone and with the Korean, let's add a third time zone and let's look for Beijing. And what I'm gonna do is on the calendar here, I'm going to say Google search a time zone okay so this way in case I don't know Chinese I know it's GMT plus 8 GMT plus 8 so anywhere there would get you into the Chinese time zone and if you want it in their language you can look I think over up, 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 up. seen other languages as well. Oh, that's the language setting. Okay, let's first, let's get Beijing. Plus eight. Let's look in plus eight. And drag. Here we go. Plus eight. And there we go. China. You can choose Chinese Standard Macau or Shanghai. Okay. Now you're going to see that. Go into your settings. And now you can see the time in China as well as the time here. And then you can also, if you want to change language, which I don't want to change language, but if you wanted to change it for your students to understand it, then you would go into the language and regions. And here you're looking for Chinese. And again, let's look at this. <sighs> English to Chinese. Let's say Chinese. Okay, so it would look like that. So we get kind of familiar with what that looks like. Or Mandarin, I think it's called Mandarin because it's simple. Mandarin. It's 
Chinese simplified. Eh, I don't know. Let's look for Chinese. <laughs> it is simplified. Okay, this is the simplified Chinese. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for that language. I would assume it would be one of those three. So automatically if I go back now, my calendar will be in Chinese and then let's see. Just to make sure I can just try to find something I can copy here. Okay, and have it detected. Language detect. Control V. Hmm. Might not have been Chinese then. It just got translated. Well then, when you don't know, then I stick it. I definitely stick to my English. So go to my settings and go back to my languages yeah that i think that might be japanese i'm not sure uh settings back here go here go back up english and go back to the calendar I should go back to english okay well i hope this helps you to learn how to organize and add not only your your URL for your meeting, but your URL for your lesson. And that way, whenever you just go to your calendar, you don't have to look everywhere and you can find your lessons very quickly.